The next vegetable I'd like to discuss is something we deal with in Briar Grill all the time. It's cabbage. We use this in our Thai salads. We use it in our curry. We use it in our uh, raw vegetable wraps. Because I'm not going to cook this cabbage, I of course need to be gloved. No bare hand contact with ready to eat food. Cabbage requires an outside leaf removal. So the first thing I'm going to do is take out the outside leaves that are damaged or discolored and get to the nice interior of this cabbage. And uh, we're going to remove maybe one more layer here. Everything's harder with gloves. Be aware. Now I have a nice clean head of cabbage here. I'm going to take a first cut off of this dry core end, just to remove any dirt or anything that might be on it. And now, again, just as the onion, I cut longitudinally. I'm going to do the same cut for a cabbage. Cut right through the core here, right down the center. You can see that it's tightly packed. Cabbage doesn't really require any washing except the outer surfaces of it because it's so tightly packed. But you can see in here that there's a core involved. The core has to be removed. If I'm using a large cabbage, I'll cut it into quarters. And then the core I cut out at an angle like this. If I'm using a smaller cabbage, I can deal with it in halves and I make an angle cut to cut the core out like this. Okay, either way works. We'll start with the quarter cabbage. Now, I have a very sharp knife. You should also maintain your knife in a very sharp manner. So before we begin, let's remember that we're going to hone our knives one more time. We're changing projects. We're going to get into making very fine slices on this cabbage. We need a very sharp knife. So again, I hold my knife straight up and down. I line it up. Okay, four times on each side. I want to cut very, very thin strips off of here, but it's difficult to do it such a long way here. And it's also kind of hard to eat, actually, if you have that long of a strip of cabbage. So generally, I cut them on this direction. This direction, the same as my onion, my first cut involves sort of a flat surface, so I'm going to cut that separate. Now I line up my knife and I make very thin slices. What's required here is for me to make sure that my knife bites into the vegetable. So as I line it up against my guide hand here, I line it up and I make sure that it's biting and then I move forward. You don't notice it so much in my actual motion, but I'm ensuring each time that I have my knife in the vegetable before I carry on with the whole range of motion, the whole range of slicing. I have a very beautiful product, very thin, nice to eat. That's what I'm going to do with all of my cabbages. Okay. Into my final product container. And remember I left a little bit of that cabbage bit long and I can do my rock chop. All right. Cores are part of my compost. This will be part of my processing right here. After I do red cabbage, you can see the a necessity of being sure to wipe my knife, wipe my board down, giving myself a clean and unblemished surface. Sometimes red cabbage will bleed into other products, so I want to be certain that I have a good surface to begin with. Okay.